Well, hi everyone, Mike here. Thanks for tuning in to another episode of KM RD Radio Stuff. Today I just want to show you uh, something ham radio adjacent, something I picked up uh, earlier in the summer and I've been using quite a bit. It's this guy right here. This is the Weaver Arborist Throw Line. Uh, there's a weight and the line and then the bag. They're kind of sold separately. You can buy the weight and the line together and then you buy the bag separately. All said and done, and it costs about 50 bucks. I'll leave links in the description to Amazon uh, if you want to pick one of these up. But boy, this has really been a game changer for me getting antennas up in the air. So let me show you what this is and I'll show you how easy it is to throw over a tree. It's just silky smooth. Stay tuned. All right, so let's take a look at what we got. Uh, first off, made in Mount Hope, Ohio. We won't hold that against them. It'd be better if it was made in Michigan, but <laughs> I kid. Good uh, American made product. So nice compact bag, very durable. It's definitely K and MRD proof. It's got this little lanyard thingy here to keep everything tight. We open this up here. We've got all our, all our cable here, our, our arborist throw line. Now this stuff is really silky smooth. It's, it's some kind of like nylon line that has like a bit of a, a coating on it. It's not a wax or anything. It's just, I don't know what it is, but it's really nice and slick and it just slides through trees, especially down here in Texas. A lot of pine trees and paracord. Yeah, you can throw paracord over a tree, but uh, it, it tends to get stuck a lot and it'll, it'll, it'll start fraying uh, as the bark kind of eats away at it. I haven't had that happen with this. And then you've got this nice 12 ounce weight here that's just nice and heavy and just pulls this cord uh, right down uh, through the trees, through even even thick uh, branches and leaves and all that stuff. So uh, very nicely made, nice, good, fine woven fabric, nice metal ring here. And I'll just tie a bowline on here. Yes, it's pronounced bowline, not bowline, Josh. Uh, <laughs> and uh, get it up in the tree. So let me show you how easy this thing is to get in a tree. And I just, I love how everything fits in this little bag. I can throw this in my backpack. Doesn't weigh a whole heck of a lot. I mean, 12 ounces you saw for the for the weight there and then the, the line in the bag itself don't weigh too much. So uh, not something I'm gonna take hiking with me on my QRP adventures, but sitting at a bench, uh, you know, where you're not going too far from the car and you have a, a bigger load out, something like this is absolutely perfect. So let's uh, show you how easy this is to throw in a tree. All right, so when I'm gonna prepare this, I'm gonna open the bag up and pull the weight out. I'm just gonna drop the bag on the ground and pull out some of the cordage. Now I wrap this in kind of a figure eight. So it just, everything comes out super easy. There's no tangles or anything. I'll show you how to do that at the end. Put it all back nice and neatly, but that's about it. Now I've seen other guys use like some kind of like between your legs method. I don't know how to do that. I just do the whole whip it around and throw it up. So let me show you that. And it's just, it's just stupid easy. I'm gonna be aiming for that branch right there. And now that your wire has been successfully flung over the tree, you can go ahead and untie your bowlin from the weight, cast that aside, and I will just tie, here's a length of paracord, I'll just tie the two together, just some kind of crude, horrible knot. Doesn't really matter, because all we're gonna do is hoist it up, you know, something like that. Who cares? Doesn't matter. And then we can hoist the paracord over the tree attached to our antenna, and then stake this in the ground. Now, as for putting everything back nice and neat and tidy in the bag, so we can deploy this without any tangles, we're gonna make the old hang loose, hang 10 symbol here. And we're just gonna wrap a figure eight around our thumb and our pinky and just keep doing this until it gets full, until your fingers can't, uh, you know, hold anymore. And then just grab the whole bunch, cram it inside the bag, all right? And then just rinse and repeat. The old Thomas Witherspoon trick. Never, ever, ever had a problem with tangles like this. It just works, it's great. And it doesn't take long, I mean, this is, I'm probably winding a hundred feet of wire, or rope rather, in here right now. And it might take about a minute. No big deal. No big deal at all. Now we're getting towards the end here. I'm take my weight, tie it back on. A little bowling knot action going on here. 
That's it. And then just kind of cram the rest in there. Cinch it up. That's it. So that's it, gang. Just wanted to show this real quick. This has been a really, really valuable tool that I've had in my arsenal uh, most of this year for putting up wire antennas. So again, there'll be a link in the description for the throw weight in the line, and then the bag is sold separately. All said and done, it's about 50 bucks, but uh, man, it just saves a lot of time when you're out in the park. Anyway, hit the like button, hit the subscribe. If you like the crap I'm producing, you can support the channel on Patreon. There's a link below. And until next time, we'll see you again on another episode of KMRD Radio Stuff. 73 guys. Mm -hmm.